Hey YouTube, I use a bunch of different iPhone apps for offline maps of various places I go hiking and mountain biking. One of my favorite apps is called Maprika. It relies on users of the app to upload maps, calibrate them, and then publish them so everyone can use them. One of the places I like to go hiking is the Pogue in Woodstock, Vermont, but there is no map of it available in any of the apps I use. However, there is a beautiful map online. So what I decided to do was download the online map and then upload it to Maprika. And my first attempt at doing that, I screwed up. And I want to show you what I did wrong and how to do it right. So first you need to find a good map of an area that you want to upload. So I usually use Google and then click on images and then go look at each image and find one that's thousands of pixels wide and then view the image and right click on it to download it. So at the moment if you go to the Maprika website there is no way to upload that map to Maprika. The only way is to send it to your phone and then upload it. So the only way I know to get that image up to your phone is by emailing it to yourself. So I assume you know how to do that. I have done that here and I have the map loaded into my email and if I hold down on the map I can do save image and that will save it to your photos. Now you got to go back to Maprika and choose select map, more maps, create new map. Then let Maprika access your photos and choose the photo that you had saved earlier. Then you want to give it a name and a description. Then click Done. And when it's done building your map, click Edit Map Data. Then click on Edit GPS Anchors. This is going to tell Maprika exactly where the coordinates of this map are. So the way you do that is on the target map you find landmarks that you can also find on the base map. Now the base map doesn't have any trails so you can only really go by streets in my experience. So zoom in on the target map and select a point that is also something you can find on the base map and switch to the base map and then move the map till you get to the exact same point and click on anchor. Then I chose a few more points, one of which was the property boundary for the land, which is probably highly inaccurate and might be the reason why my map came out so poor. When I published the map and went out and checked it in the field, my readings were off. Don't publish your map until you actually go out in the field and check it and set more than three points. Now when I tried to share that map it came up and said that I had to be a registered Maprika user so until that point I could use Maprika without even registering. So I went in and registered with Maprika and then I went back to my map by clicking on the eye. Don't slide to the left or you're going to click on delete. And then I clicked on share map again. And should have paid more attention to this warning, but I didn't. I chose submit and then I submitted the map so everybody could use it. Unfortunately, when I got out into the field, I found out that my map was not actually very accurate. Okay, we're here at the Pogue. I'm going to see if the map that I downloaded works out at all. I'm going to go to Maprika. Select map, Woodstock, Vermont, and down here in the lower corner is the arrow. So we are right there. And I'm a little bit off. A little bit off from where we are. So I went back into my map and I deleted all the anchors that I had created and started over. And I added anchors at every road intersection I could find around the map and then I tried to re-upload this and when I did so Maprika told me there already was a map for this area and would not let me upload it. So I went into the map and reported it as being an error but I still can't upload it and right now my map is accurate on my phone but I'm sure anybody who downloads the map that I originally uploaded has an inaccurate map. So. 
Don't make that mistake. Add lots of points. Do so very carefully. Only use the road intersections. Don't use property boundaries. And hopefully it'll be all right. And hopefully if a lot of us do this, we'll have maps for every place that we want to ride or hike. And it'll be awesome. Thanks for watching.